Today from Hershey Park Stadium, the Pennsylvania Cable Network presents the PIAA Class 2A Football Championship. This afternoon's matchup, the Dunmore Bucks and the, the Jeanette Jayhawks. Now, everybody's giddy all across the state <laughs> and all across the country about uh, his star quarterback, Terrell Pryor, the only player in WPIL history to pass and rush for over 4,000 yards in his career. But he's more than that. He's become a real team leader. Uh, last year, they were kind of here because they were more athletic than anybody else. This year, they're just pounding the heck out of people. And Pryor keys everything. They've got good running backs. They've got good receivers. But all eyes are going to be on number 11 this afternoon, including all the eyes of Dunmore, too. Because if you want to stop Jeanette, you have to stop Terrell Pryor. No one's done it so far this season. And now his fullback. James Derry will go in motion, and Pryor with a terrific throw across the middle of the field, completing the pass. It's Jordan Hall making the catch across the 25-yard line. Last year, Terrell Pryor probably would have pulled that down and tried to make a play by himself. This year, calm, cool, and collected in the backfield, and Bob, you hit the nail on the head. Terrific throw. James Derry just running a nice little down and in route. Right around just shy of the 35-yard line. They've got to get to the 40 to pick up the first down. Pryor under center, fakes the handoff, and he's in trouble in the backfield, but that's his specialty, and he finds daylight, and he finds a receiver, good for a first down into Dunmore territory, breaking tackles, it's Kenny Grant finding daylight all the way down inside the 20-yard line. Again, the difference is that this year, Terrell Pryor looks down the field as he's scrambling and finds Kenny Hart and hits him with a... A, another nice pass. And he gets six yards out of the play, brings up third and short. Again, naked backfield with Pryor, and this time he's going to run to the side of the four receivers. He'll get the first down and a good open field tackle for Pat Hart to prevent the touchdown. At the three-yard line, second down and goal to go. Four receivers this time right side. Only one to the left, that's Kenny Grant, quarterback keeper, and it's Terrell Pryor with a great surge by his offensive line in front of him. Barrels into the touch end zone for the touchdown from three yards out. You can't help but talk about numbers when you talk about Terrell Pryor. 1,800 yards throwing the football, 1,700 yards running with the football, and 4,000 yards rushing, 4,000 passing as a player in his career at Jeanette. In addition to everything else, now he's kicking off for Jeanette as well today. And the kickoff will be taken by Mark Cortez. And for taxing Spager, excuse me, but the Jayhawks with that explosiveness, that 58-yard run for, Kenny, for Jordan Hall, getting the game's game going with the first play from scrimmage. Football is loose. We're going to see the ball come loose here, and uh, <laughs> there's Pryor. Look at him leaping over top. Gets the interception. And gets Jeanette into Dunmore territory as well. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. Pryor trying to work his magic. Straight arms his way out of a tackle at the 45. We run out of bounds at about the 43, 44-yard line. Three stiff arms. So watch him. He's got to, got to come over here. Here's the first stiff arm right there. Boom. Stiff arm there. Now he's going to come over here. He's going to go stiff arm here. Boom. That's number two. Now again, a number 13. Boom. One more time. And then he's kind of glides out of bounds. Just a four-yard pickup. But with that explosive offense, Ray Ritz is going to leave it out on the field, you would presume. Or will they go with a quick kick? They do with Pryor back there. And Dunmore was expecting it as they had the return man, Spager, back to return. It will roll dead inside the 25-yard line at about the 22. Second down and nine. Second down and one, excuse me, after the nine-yard run by Kenny Grant. Now Pryor out of the shotgun. Going to keep it. Design quarterback draw play. First down and more. Pryor in the open territory. 40, 50. Dunmore territory to the 40. Down the sideline he goes. And he's going to finally be run out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. Ladies and gentlemen, you've just witnessed what makes him so special. Sapia got a little bit of pressure by design. He just took off. Well, you saw the blocking again. Uh, the inside guys pushing back. Open up the hole right here. you got two blocks. And then he just glides. Look at the eyes up all the time. 6'6", six, six, looking out over everybody, picking his spots. Just looks like a big cruise ship. This time, four receivers left side, one to the right of Terrell Pryor. Watching the draw, too. And they throw it this time, flanker screen to Jordan Hall with blocking in front of him. And he will cruise into the end zone from 15 yards out for the touchdown. And that free safety, by the way, a 6'6 six, six guy, you got to throw it over the top of Terrell Pryor. So uh, dangerous that if Terrell Pryor picks that off with open territory, to run the football. Now the punt return. Jordan Hall, blockers out in front of him, 40, 50, down the sideline he comes. A wave of Jeanette Jayhawks in front of him to the 20. One more block to the 15, and Jordan Hall will take it the distance. 71 yards and a punt return for Jordan Hall. And big job by Terrell Pryor, not only pointing the way, but then a big block downfield by number 11. 
but that was well set up. And again, we'll bunch four receivers to the right side. Now Shaw Sunder will go in motion to the left. Fryer gonna throw or run? He's gonna maybe do both. He's gonna run, now he finds an open receiver, wide open in the end zone, wow. and that's the ability of Terrell Pryor, sucks the defense in. Shaw Sunder comes open for the two-point conversion. The moment he moves forward, everybody comes up, and that frees up everybody behind. Great players make everyone around them better because of what they do in terms of drawing attention to themselves. Yeah, and he had, again, I, I'm not sure he Watch this. makes this throw last year. Right there. You saw everybody come up. Everybody gets caught watching him. And the yeah. moment you watch him and leave your responsibilities, it's over. Can do that. Perry gets the call on first and ten. Gets blocked and gets to the territory. Picks up the first down. Straight arms his way out and finally wrapped out of bounds and thrown down inside the 35-yard line. Same formation, whatever it may be. And Pryor going to run with it this time. Turns the corner to the 30, 35 and 40, and going to run out of bounds and stop the clock with 27 seconds remaining. Well, maybe not. A little shifting and moving around, and Pryor now shifts out to the wide receiver. This is essentially the kind of formation they used to that run for Hall in the first play from scrimmage, but now Hall's going to be the quarterback, and Pryor the wide receiver, and an incomplete pass. The Jeanette, well, there comes the flag. Yeah, he was pushed out of bounds. The late yeah. flag. He was pushed out of bounds. It, was no, it shouldn't even have been a question about that. Four receivers left side, one to the right, and that is Kenny Grant. Prior time, buying more time, plenty of time. Waiting for somebody to break open. Now he's going to take care of business himself. Shakes loose of a tackle and will get a first down and get out of bounds at about the 28-yard line with six <laughs> seconds remaining. First and ten for Jeanette at the Dunmore 28-yard line, shifting it again. Hall now in the backfield. Pryor now lining up as a receiver. Jordan Hall, the quarterback, throwing for the corner, looking for Terrell Pryor. Guess what? Out jumps everybody, and Terrell Pryor adds touchdown reception to his list. You can't teach height. Watch this. Did he push off a little bit? Well, nope. not really. No, nope. he went straight up and speared it. So far, it's been something special. Dunmore, you just got to go back to what works for you, and here they go. And Perry does get the call, and he's got a huge hole to run through across the 30 and dives for what might be a first down. They had to get to the 32 to pick it up, and he might be there. Look at this. Here comes Perry with a big hole to run through, and Pryor will shove him out of bounds inside the 25-yard line at the 24. Another first down pickup for the Bucks. their fourth of this second half. Walker, a senior, 5'10", 210-pound nose guard. He gets a moment of glory. And speaking of glory, here comes Terrell Pryor in an option. Great move, 40. And finally goes down the sideline and out of bounds right around midfield. Those are all the little subtleties this year. Last year he was good. He was really good. There's the ball thing. Now coming down. Reed coming down again. You're going to see Hall try to get a decent block there. But it's uh, basically Pryor making the most of everything. There's the ball fake. Everybody takes it into the line. And then here's Pryor opening up himself on the outside. 49-yard line of Dunmore. Pryor now in the shotgun. He's going to... Fake the handoff and keep it again. Another big hole and see you later. Terrell Pryor going to take it home for the touchdown. 49 yards. A little bit of a slow one coming through. Then to hit the hole first, once he gets in the clear, then the Jets go on. And that long stride takes him into the end zone. Both Jeanette and Dunmore with great fan support in this afternoon's AA championship game. Terrell Pryor kicking off. And a booming kick that will, with the wing behind him, will go into the end zone. Five-yard pick, excuse me, a four-yard pickup for Derry. Now Pryor going to run the option. Straight arms his way out of the tackle. 35-30, block downfield, 20, 25, 10, 5. Touchdown, Terrell Pryor. Terrific blocking downfield. Nick Spino with a block that sprung him into the end zone. He turned a corner against Beaver Falls, and it looked like three or four Beaver Falls players had angles on him. And he just ran away from them. Well, Spino pushing out there in front a little bit, but uh, Terrell Pryor putting an exclamation point on this one. His team now at 48. Uh, they set a new record this year for scoring per game here in the state of Pennsylvania. They're number one in the state. That's what's been impressive, and Time what a out. way to get a curtain call. Timeout called by Jeanette and Ray Ritz to give his defense and his first unit a chance to come out. They come out hands holding as they come to the sideline for a curtain call. That's a nice job by Ray Ritz to, to allow them to come out for a curtain call and use a timeout to do so. It's also nice to get some of the other guys into the state championship game. And that will do it. The final seconds will tick off and 
It took them a one full calendar year of waiting as last year they took home the silver and in 2007, the PIAA State AA Championship will go to the Jeanette Jayhawks. The final score, Jeanette 49, Dunmore 21. It was special to watch this today. 16-0 on the season, 15 of the 16. Mercy rule games. That's a, a record setting performances in every way, record numbers. You can't help but talk about Jeanette and talk about the numbers they put up because they, they are a statistician's nightmare in a lot of ways. As they win it in convincing style this afternoon, they'll take home the gold trophy back to Jeanette, Pennsylvania. The final score in this double A contest, the Jeanette Jayhawks 49, the Denmark Bucks 21. We thank you for tuning in. And again, our work is not done. We still have the Quad A championship coming your way. Five o'clock is the kickoff time between the Parkland Trojans and the Pittsburgh Central Catholic Vikings. It promises to be a fantastic football game. We're looking forward to it. Hope you'll tune in. Five o'clock is the kickoff time of the Quad A state championship game.